Hey everyone, welcome back to Ahmad One Studio. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this emerald crystal material. And then in the next part, I will show you this rocky material. So stay tuned for the next part and watch this till the end. So if you want the minerals model, you will get it on my Patreon page. Support the channel to keep the tutorial free. Links will be in the description. So let's get started. Go to render properties, change the render engine to cycles and if you have a GPU then switch the device to GPU compute. Now go to editor type and click on shader editor then switch the object mode to world. Click on viewport shading and press ctrl T. If you don't have node wrangler on then go to edit and open preferences then go to the add on tab, search node wrangler, turn on it and save preferences. Now open the SDRI file. I have downloaded this SDRI from Polyheaven. Now let's go to the object tab and click on new. We have a default principal PSDFC here. So I'm gonna turn the transmission value all the way up to 1 and the IR value to 2. Now I'm going to create a volume out of it. I press Shift A and search for a principal volume shader and place it here and plug the value to value so you can see the volume here and set the density value to around 25 in color to black press shift a and search rgb node then plug into the color and density and turn the white value to 1 and into absorption color and press ctrl h to hide the rest so it will make some space for you and then unplug from the color and density we only need this and see this volume now i'll take a green color because emerald is green then then press shift a and search for a hue saturation node you can increase this value or decrease it and plug this color into the base color I'm gonna set this value to 0.9. Press Shift A and search for a math node and put it here between the RGB node and principal PSDF and take a mix RGB node to connect it together. Plug this math value into the first color and the hue saturation color into the second color. You can play with this value but I'm gonna set this to 0.8 and plug this color into base color and change the blend mode to color and keep the fact to 0.5 now press shift a and search for a noise texture and if you press ctrl shift and select so it will preview the node which you click on okay keep the scale to 5 and detail all the way up to 15 then roughness if you decrease this value then it will be soft with no details and if you increase this then it will be more detailed but I'm gonna keep this at 0.5 and distortion to around 3. Press Shift A and search for a color ramp and put it here. Then slide this to around 0.4. Press Ctrl T to add texture coordinates and plug the object into vector. Then take a mix RGB node and plug the object into first color and plug the generated into the second color. Press Shift D to duplicate the mix RGB node and plug the color into first color and the normal to second color. Again press Shift D to duplicate it and plug this color into first one and the vector into the second one and plug this color into the vector. You can see these details on the emerald crystal. Now I'm gonna set the blend modes to overlay and this one to soft light and this mix node to multiply and press ctrl shift and select this color ramp to preview it and press shift a and search for a bumped node plug the color into height and normal into normal and press ctrl shift and select it to preview so i think it's a bit dark here so go to the world properties and increase the strength one is good and press ctrl shift and select it to preview it's a bit more strong so decrease this value to 1.5 and preview the principal shader 
okay now plug the color into roughness ior transmission and emission and press control h to hide the rest and hold control and right mouse button and drag to remove all of these and now the roughness press shift a and search for a geometry node and control shift and click on the geometry node to preview it if you click more then it will go down to pointiness then take a color ramp and move this slider to here 0.5 and this slider to 0.53 and change the linear to be spline and preview the principal vsdf then plug the color into roughness see this it looks more realistic now press shift a and search for a mix rgb to connect it together and put it right here and then plug this color into second color and take a color ramp and put it here and press control shift and select principal vsdf shader to preview it so the emerald material is done it's looking nice now i want to add little more realism to the emerald so press shift a and search for a displacement node and plug into displacement and plug this normal to the normal then turn down the scale value to something less if it's not working the displacement then don't worry go to the texture properties and then go down to the settings and surface change the bump only to displacement and bump see this is working but it's too much so turn down the scale to 0.005 or maybe 0.007 yeah it's look good so it is more realistic because we have added normal and displacement so if you don't know the difference between normal and displacement i'll tell you in short so what normal do it gives you the fake depth but the displacement gives you the actual depth but the displacement will take more time to render than normal now select the intersections and click on new i'm going to turn the transmission value all the way up to 1 and the roughness value also to 1 and increase the wide value to 1 and you can turn on and off it and see this it gives you more depth now select the bubbles and click on new then turn the transmission value to 1 and the roughness value to around 0.025 now you can see the bubbles inside the emerald okay so select the tiny crystals and give this a material then press x to delete the principal bsdf shader and go to the emerald and select all of these and press control c to copy then go to the tiny crystals and press control v to paste and plug the principal bsdf into the surface volume into the volume displacement into the displacement but you can delete this displacement because these crystals are not so big I don't need there any extra depth. Then you can change the color of the crystals here. So I'll take a orange color. It's look gorgeous. And press control shift and select this mix RGB node to preview this. Look at these details there. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching till the end. So I hope you like this video. I'll upload the next part soon and don't forget the links will be in the description please create something beautiful with it and share on Instagram and make sure to use hashtag #ahmadmonstudio